Quite sure what this is up here, but there's some kind of light um, up by the sun. Wow, really interesting. I figured I'd get some footage of it, and uh, of course you can see those black uh, vultures around up there, but. Uh, just to the left of that uh, hemlock, there's just this orb of light, and it looks like it has a ring around it or something. And so, uh, I guess I'll take a, a snapshot of it too, but I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that is, but wow. freaking cool looking whatever it is I was thought maybe it was a chemtrail or a plane I don't know if it's coming closer or if it's just hanging there but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and if it does come closer of course I'll uh, get some more footage of it Wow I have no idea what that is. It looks like it's getting bigger, so I don't know if it's coming this way or what. But um, if I get, if I step back, you'll see the sun, and then you won't get to see it as much, probably. Yeah, see, that just kind of blinds the whole thing. That hemlock, it, it was allowed me to see because um, I'm not sure what it is, but there's a truck coming, so I'm gonna get off the road here and hang this up for a second. Okay, so I uh, just hung up with Alfred and I was able to zoom in here now. Uh, there's that first tree, there it is up in the top corner or top center. And there's the other tree that it was in between. And so if you guys can see that, which I'm sure you can, I mean, dang, this thing is big. And so I'm going to move over here. There is a police officer talking to a neighbor right here. So I was hoping to get... Oh my gosh, I don't know what that is. There's something else showing up uh, that I can't see with my... Okay, you know what? I think it might be a... <laughs> Cobweb. So there you go. I'm trying to debunk myself, and I did. But that up there, I have no idea. That's way, way in the distance. I just. And just to give my testimony, I mean, the excitement that I have right now is uh, pretty intense. It's hard to keep this. Uh, um, camera still and so I'm gonna back up again just to get another reference point with the building that's in front of me and so there's that tree and you can see how close you know I'm pretty close I'm about well I have this on zoom but I'm probably like um, 10 feet away from that but up in the sky there um, the park, park ranger just drove by I tried to flag him down but I want somebody else to witness this so. as soon as this officer is done with the neighbor uh, and so there's a couple birds on the line you can see for reference, and here's this other tree. There's a plane up there, actually, way above. Right there, you can see it going. And so, that gives you some kind of a reference, also. Do you see that plane there going? 
it's moving. It's going from right to left. And it's over there now. But that thing right there, I have no idea what it is. And so I'm going to shut this off just for a second. And we're about at three minutes here, so I'm going to shut it off then. And three. All right, guys. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, I have my friends here, Eva and uh, Dr. Gaspar, who are, it's right outside their house. And so I'm just going to get their testimony. Um, so, Willie, what do you see up there, like right in this right now moment? What does it look like to you? Is it moving and size and all it's that? It's staying in one place. I'm not too sure what to uh, define it as. What's the shape? It's almost triangular. That's what you see? Okay. Eva, what do you see? I see like a big light bulb. <laughs> That's what I saw. It looks like just like a light bulb. And so it's just hanging there. Yep. It is. It's actually giving up some light up and on. Yeah, do you see that? Because when I first stopped and looked, it looked like there was a ring around it, kind of like Saturn or whatever, but maybe it was a light that's... A halo, okay. And so I was going to try to get this police officer that's behind us that's incidentally over there taking care of some other business to look at it so I could yeah. get him. And uh, I thought you guys might want to see this. And there's the sun. Yeah. Well, if you look at it in relation to that tree right there, um, it's still right there. Let me zoom in on it. Yeah, right there it is. And again, I'm like really excited, so it's hard for me to hold this steady. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen anything like that before? Not this kind. But you've seen other things in the sky that you couldn't... Yeah, I've seen orange ones too. In fact, uh, when I was in Phoenix, I got various uh, orbs. But this is just hanging there, broad daylight. What what time is it? Do you guys know? Is it like 5:36? Uh, exactly 604. 6:04 on September 25th, 2014. Just so we have it documented. And uh, again, you know, Willie, you look at the uh, a straw or. Uh, the stars and yes. and so would you say that's a planet or not? Oh uh, no, no sure. And so doesn't that look so much closer? Like it looks like it's within our atmosphere, right? That's how it looks. It's within the atmosphere. Um, it doesn't belong there. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I come home every night here, and I haven't seen it uh -huh. <laughs> before. You guys have been living in this particular house for how long? Six months, and you never seen it. Yeah, I doubt that it would be something like a weather balloon or things like that, because that would be exactly. And so you have a book out, also. You were interviewed by ancient aliens, and so what was the name of your book? Uh, the World Tree. The World Tree. And so, you also have a Gaspar theory, correct? Yes. And so, just to put this into perspective, you're a medical doctor. You uh, practice, what, uh, family medicine and internal medicine? Internal medicine, hospital, yes. And in addition to that, you also have written books about uh, the cosmos and different things. I was interested in uh, what are the things that forming shapes like uh, or fingers and a thumb, like a spiral division, spiral fractals, the end of an ice age or the end of a warming period, the Mayan calendar, right. secret geometry, those sort of things. And you know, 
some of the ancient stuff that we don't understand someone taught it to us or developed it or was brought from other places to here so it was always interested you just me yeah awesome okay well thank you guys for your testimony and I'm just gonna uh, shut this off something different almost definitely and so you know unidentified flying object UFO is what this is because again it's just hanging there and what's cool is we get a relationship with the the, the tree isn't it cool <laughs> and so I'm gonna continue to watch it but my phone's gonna die but I'm glad I got this much uh, footage so cool. all right well, thank you. okay guys we're here in uh, New Mexico 925 2014 and uh, uh, shoot I forgot to look at the time here but uh, it's probably around 7 o'clock um, in that uh, what appears to be a light bulb is still there. This is so cool. As you can see, the sun was going down there uh, behind that cur that uh, pine, pine tree or hemlock, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see if this has its own uh, illumination or if it was a, is a reflection of the sun. And so this is an iPhone 5. I don't know that um, how well this is going to pick up at nighttime, but. Um, I'm going to try, there we go, zoom in, oh wow, that's a little bit different now, let me get back a little bit here so I can, it looks like, uh, I don't know, some kind of sacred geometry shape or something, and now these mosquitoes are trying to eat me, but let me get this zoom back. I'm going to uh, cut this off and take a few pictures to see what that looks like. Okay guys, so I was right, it's uh, 7.04. So it's an hour uh, later than uh, the last video. Um, there are other people in town seeing it, but I don't know outside of Clayton, New Mexico, if uh, other people are actually seeing this or not. Uh, it's hard to say how big this is, but it doesn't look like it would be seen from all over the planet. It looks like it. it's just, uh, it's right there. I mean, if I zoom, I don't know. Maybe I won't zoom the whole way at first, and then maybe a little bit more. It seems like it's pulsating because the way the camera is um, focusing in and out. Uh, I mean, this thing is big. It's so awesome. All right, so let me go back down. Again, still in the same spot. It may have uh, risen a little bit, maybe. So I don't know what that means in relation to how the planet is turning and the sun went down. Um, I guess uh, whoever's savvy enough to piece this together from moment to moment, I guess I'll have to get more footage at 8.04 and see what it looks like if it's still there. But it is amazing. I mean, this little iPhone, I mean, it, it's got its limitations. But obviously, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to look anything like I'm seeing with my naked eye. It, it's just amazing. And so I'm going to cut this off now and uh, just keep an eye on things and then piece this all together later. Send you guys love, light, and laughter. Alright guys, it's like 20 after 7, it's getting pretty dark, but this thing is still there. 
it's not as bright it started to turn a yellowish color um, if you can see there to the right of it there's the tree and right by the tree there's a star and so I guess what they're claiming is this thing's a weather balloon um I don't know I don't know that it is or not it's awful funny that it's in the same place for so long I don't know if the weather balloons hang in one location like this or not let me see if I can zoom in tonight here. Yep, there it is. And so everybody in town's talking about it now, so of course we're in New Mexico and everything else was blamed on uh, weather balloons even before weather balloons existed, so who knows? I'm not saying what it is or what it isn't, but it is awful strange and uh, again like Dr. Gaspar said earlier it doesn't belong so all right so that should be it I'm gonna maybe take a look at it later to see what it looks like and if there's anything to try to capture I will put it on film love you guys